can't get in the hopes of Ducati look like they're resting on an injured shoulder of Jack Miller. Yeah, can Miller keep their golden run going here in the Red Bull ring? Chasing a sixth victory. Like Sage no. Wagon is not giving up that battle of the yeah, uh, uh, in their game. brilliant performance. Well, 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 His display today is display on weekend has merited better than this. He deserved better than fifth place if that's the yeah, outcome it's going to be for Juan Mir. But well, likewise, Takanaka Gami yeah, just behind him in sixth. It looks like the wind's coming from one of these three. Thomas Bargaro, Jack Let's Miller, Miguel Oliveira. And there's only ever, between the three of them, there's only one winner. Yes, and that's sorry for the idea. So that's a black two. Do you want to be okay if that's the outcome in a couple of laps time for Thomas Bargaro? He gets good drive grip out of that first corner. Yeah, There's no way that Jack Miller's going to be able to get close enough to exactly attack him on the brakes on the hill in the third three. Just stay, stay on, Jack. Yeah, Miller, the only winner from oh, the group Mira, of three at front, but it was an, in unusual circumstances, wasn't it, over in Atten? Great defending as well oh, by sorry, Miller. He just stopped back to catch a smack bang in the middle of turn number three. Okay. Miguel Oliveira had to yeah. pull on the brake lever hard. Oh, Look how much time Miguel Oliveira lost. Same way up by Matt to Jack Miller. Jack is trying to get everything here. Miguel Oliveira and Nakagawa are going to have to turn form as well. As that cost them places to Alex Rins. Nakagami certainly lost the place to Rims. Jack looks closer here. He does look a little closer to Polis Bargaro. Yeah. Two yeah. laps to go yeah. here is Miller. Yeah. Going to have a little look at Polis Bargaro. Around turn seven, yes. through turn eight. Has he got the speed there? So quick is Polo on that right-hander. Yeah, the second, well, the last two sectors for Polis Bargaro and the KTM has looked so, so good over the course of the two Grand Prix here in Austria. Well then, we are a lap away from Thomas Bargaro taking what would be a memorable victory for KTM on home soil. This is going to be the biggest lap of his life and this is a guy who's won a Moto 2 World Championship. The regular lot, the competitive watch. Thomas Bargaro on the brink of the biggest day of his Grand Prix career. He's keeping Jack Miller at bay again. He gets the really good strong drive back into the rear tyre. Hooked up brilliantly out of the first corner. Miller's not pushed up the strike. He yeah. go on the brakes then into turn he's three, Miller, and he's not yeah. 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 unusual line this time. Just to pass it from Brady. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
we've got her, they clutch around down in pit lane with Simon. Jesus, what a thriller, Miller. I told you a few days ago. Oh, my God. I've been God. a woman 40 years, never, ever, ever won a MotoGP race, and uh, that was something that was in the first in my mind case here. Yeah. Uh, well done. Before, that will happen, and uh, today, this is happening. And, uh, and, uh, exactly. You know, we are so down after the MotoGP race, and... Uh, only racing can give you this emotion, you know, it feel like uh, the worst day of your life, uh, you know, later the best. Oh, so yeah. yeah. He didn't took it off in the first place, because yes. he was still on the body. Yeah, apologies for the language there, but frankly, who cares? I mean, it's just yeah. such high emotions going on here. Can you believe it? Her, they punch her out, they try for 20 oh, long years. Jesus. People laughed at Tech 3 when yeah, they signed oh. that deal to leave Yamaha and join KTM. Oh, Yet no. here we they are, what, a couple of years down the track. No. And Miguel Oliveira is our Oliveira. nearest Grand Prix winner in the 900 Premier Clash race. He was befitting was of such a milestone. Awesome what a way to cap that out. landmark Sorry. 900 it's Premier Clash race kind of the home win for KTM. I just want to add something in just quickly, Matt. There were a couple of people running wide on that last lap. <sighs> Will there be any demotions? I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but yeah. we'll wait and see. Yeah, but either way, out. there's no doubt about like it. Miller. We have a Portuguese race winner. In MotoGP, two weeks ago, we had a South African. We had four different winners in five races. Here's Thomas Fargaro there. He's going to be absolutely gutted. There's no other podium going to console this man right now. He looked like he had it in the bag and then he got it hot, didn't he, at turn three? On that last lap, that's what dragged Miller back into contention. Miller, well, he could not have done any more. Could not have done any more. The Catty finally beaten at the Red Bull Ring in Spielberg. Miguel Oliveira, the 25-year-old from oh, Portugal. This is great to see, Tom. What a race. By the way, this is Miguel's 150th race as well, so it's a milestone race for him. Your hearts have to go out as well, of course. The likes of Juan Mir, who was fourth. Takanaka Garda, seventh. Those two deserve better. It's just been recently announced that our final round of the year will be in Portugal. I'm not spending money And the 900th Premier Class race goes to Miguel Oliveira so and to the Tech 3 K and KTM yeah, as well. I mean, KTM win uh, on home soil and how they get to victory as well. It's just, right. you right. cannot write the script. Right. So happy there, right. Steve right. Blackburn with a, the ball I've home advantage. He's been around a I long, long time with Steve. -O. Great to see him. Well, well, that's the last corner. Well done, Miguel. Wow. Oh, it is just, cool. he kept his line, everything was going on, didn't he? So, he kept his line. Just yeah, you did it, man, you did it. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what it feels like to win your first MotoGP race. Awesome. Jack Miller congratulates Oliveira with his left hand. I don't think he's got much power yeah. left in the right arm. That's good to see yeah. a handshake from two men who certainly differed in opinion, shall we say, yes. in the last seven days. It's fair to say there was a bit of mudslinging going on yeah. between the pair of them, but there's going to be some uh, Prosecco slinging going on. Pit Byra, two wins in three weeks for KTM. He must be over the moon. He's with Simon. So was two wins in three weeks and two uh, on the podium today. Oh, Joanne. Yeah, yeah, Jake jumped in there, but I think they were talking about Oliveira and Colin Spargo. So that's that's like, your heart goes out, doesn't it, as well, to Juan Mir. Such contrasting emotion between your race winner there, Miguel Oliveira, and Juan Mir, who was doing such a supreme job. He was flawless in that first race before the red flag came out. You've got to think that had the red flag not come out, it was likely that Juan Mir was going to be on the top step of the podium. As it is, it's Miguel Oliveira who creates the most famous portrait. He's joining an exclusive club as well, of course, race winners in all three world championship categories now. The what? championship's been blown wide open. There's a point between Dobby and Quattararo, I think, if my maths are correct. And all of a sudden, Dobby you have to throw all three of these guys into the equation again. Thomas Barber.